Hey guys, Elam Sweater here. Welcome to DDLC Not Square Episode 6. I know there's a little bit of cat, like, water going on in the background. He's just drinking. So, um, last, last episode, I don't know what happened, but there was a fight. And the pissy poem panic happened, and, you know, all, all the good stuff. Anyways, let's just begin. As always, it's your boy, Nachos at the ready. Yeah, we're bringing back every old element. Except now that I'm like supersonic rapping the intro to the the video. Well, now that we're past that, everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that was worthwhile for everyone. I thought I almost thought she said it's time to read everybody's poems. So like, what happened? Why why are there more? Especially you, Llama. To be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little used to. <laughs> uh, oh wait, wrong voice, damn. Uh, so so me, my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere, huh? Atmosphere? <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. Did somebody say atmosphere? Oh, yes. There's, there's still time before we go home. So we'll, so we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related things in the club room. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. Or pick up Nazi. After all, that's what the club is for. Bitch. What? What? I disagree, Monica. Ah, about what? That's not the most important thing about the literature. Oh, wrong voice. That's not the most important thing about the literature club. <laughs> the most important thing is having fun. <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're you're the vice president, Sayori. <laughs> In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But but in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. During that scream, White, were we supposed to have... Uh... CG with Natsuki? I hope not. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. But, well, mostly. Llama, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, We'll do the same thing tomorrow. Also, stop doing the blah 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 thing. It sounds weird. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Even better than the way you speak. How funny would it be to it's write repulsive. our How funny would it be to write our own script and then voice it? It'd probably be very cringy, but it could be really good. Who knows? I think to myself, <laughs> what a wonderful world. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. But then he like that means like I, I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Not to myself a newfound determination. Lava! Ready to walk up? Sure, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Theory beams at me. Darn. It truly has been a while since they already have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm enjoying it. I, I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Oh boy. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Yeah, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No. It's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. 
You know, for a second, you sounded like Elmo. For a second. What was that? I'm Elmo. Huh? I'm Elmo. Elmo wants blood. Hello, I'm Elmo. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't. You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. <coughs> I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Mama? It's nice to like, just spend time with them in the club. In the club. In the club. Bottle full of bub. I to hit the flow. Get low, low, low. I don't know. Shake it the flow. Next thing you know, shake it and blow. Gotta get low, 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 low. Yay! Here we go. Very nice. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's. Yeah. Every day is gonna be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Siri has, still hasn't caught on the to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really have to stop there? <clears throat> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Siri. I pat Siri on the head, on the shoulder. Keep wanting to pat her on the head. I, I said that more to myself than her, but it, but it's easy to say Sayori is to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Play. That was Sayori. All right, Sunny. What do you mean? You know, let me save. You know what? Yeah. Save. You, you started beatboxing and the furnace immediately lit up. <laughs> okay, cute. Doki doki. Um, skirt. Okay. Lollipop. Um, kitty. Games. Alright. That's enough of yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's enough that's being awesome. autistic. Childhood, definitely not. Um, family, no. Bunny. Uh, color? No, no, sorry. Whatever, that's fine. Twirl, bliss, socks, has to be. Milk. Yep. <clears throat> climax! We'll throw in climax, why not? Um. Hair, pink, uh, love. Oh, uh, who cheer? What flower? What sing? Jump. All right. Yeah, sure. There we go. Another day passes. It was time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here here over the past couple days. Enter the club room. The usual scene greets me. Hi, Emma. Yo, Sayori, why do you sound like a pterodactyl? It's like you're in a good mood. Yeah. I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. You can find me in the club, a bottle full of bub. I see. Uh huh. It's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which. Oh god. My IQ is 56. Water. 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 Get water, lube the throat. Lube it and do the anime girl. That can, that, can be taken, that can be taken out of context very easily. 
Ah! I don't need it. I'm kinda hungry. I don't need it. I need it. Ah! I'm kinda hungry. Do you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. We didn't accidentally get Sayori, did we? I hope not. No, this always happens. <laughs> Thank you at all. I have my reasons. I need to go see the pink one. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? <laughs> Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh. So where he nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Oh, God. What are, you, what are you gargling over there, huh? Water. Uh huh. It helps soothe my throat. I believe you. Do you want me to show you, bro? No. Ah. Yeah, no. Get get throat cam. Watch watch the uvula bounce off the water, make it ripple. <laughs> Notice the finer details as the waters pulled back by throat muscles into the, into the esophagus and <laughs> down into the urine digested. Where does it go to next? Where does it go? That's a good question. I never thought about that before. Does it go into it the It goes instance? through the digestive system. So it just. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I I think. Well, I, I I haven't learned about that yet. See, like, yeah, that's something I've never really thought about. On a like a just thinking, is where does water go? At like, yeah, I doubt it. There's no way it goes to your stomach. So where does it go? Up your way. Well, I don't pee out my ass. So. I assume not. If you pee out your ass, you I used to think girls did that. <laughs> I mean, I used to think girls Back had. When I was really little. I used to think girls had it, like, had their vagina were, like, a guy's penises. I'm pretty sure I thought that. Or maybe it was something else. Maybe. No, I, I did. I used to think that, like, once a woman got married. She just had the ability to have a baby whenever she wanted because she had like the wedding dress on. That's what I thought. Because she had the wedding dress on? Yeah, I was like, it was a magical, magical dress. I mean, if you thought the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus was real, wouldn't you think that magical birthing dresses are real too? <laughs> That's such a unique. Uniquely kid thing to think. Exactly. So there couldn't be any That's other so possible funny. explanation besides Santa just throwing a fetus at you and saying, here, put this inside of you, and then it'll come out the flesh prison nine months later. Anyways, uh, there's, uh, some, some lines. <sighs> <laughs> Give me a start, we we don't need to talk about the crimes against humanity. I just committed by saying that sentence. <laughs> what are you doing? The dishes or something? No, I'm getting a big ass bowl of cereal. That is valid. I'm gonna mix Frosted Flakes with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I mean, I got, I got them one and a munchie bag, bro. 
I know. Sometimes, sometimes it's more like 3 a.m. munchies. I remember one time I watched I watched QB Halloween while eating a giant bowl of cocoa puffs. That was a good time. That does sound like a great ass night. I mean, QB, you know, and that movie's not bad. Honestly, Adam Sandler has been doing a lot better recently than he has in the past. I mean, I can't even say that he's made good movies in the past, but his track record has been not great. Overall, and it's starting to catch back up. Yeah, it got, it's been doing pretty good since then. The Adam Sandler's adult movies lately have been. Have been doing I, mean, Adam, I mean, Adam Sandler made a kids movie, and it did better than Wish, the 100 year anniversary of Disney. I mean that's that's insane and it was a good it was a good kids movie with a good message and good characters. Like it was overall a very wholesome, very well put together education and children's movie and I appreciate it. Even though it's kind of clunky in a way, it's good. Clunky. Clunky, not plunky. What is plunky? Plunky sounds like a word, I'm just not sure what it is. It sounds like a derogatory term, I probably shouldn't be saying that. Oh, I hate them damn plunkies down on the the other street. <laughs> them damn anything, plunkies. If anything, that always sounds like smoking a, their Always smoking their plunts. It, I mean, it just it sounds like a slur for white people, you know? It's like hicks or hillbillies or red, rednecks or something like that. A plunk. You're, you're a plunky. That, that's that's the slur for, for people who live in Mississippi, them plunkies. We got cack fonts in Arizona and plunkies in Mississippi. We just can't win with this country, you know. We need to split into two separate nations, one of which really loves slavery. You know what I mean? Oh my god. You sound like Caden right now. <laughs> oh god. And the worst part is, he's serious. Maybe. <laughs> Try to give him the benefit of the doubt, but who knows. Well, I mean, I'll, I am currently sitting here with um, doing like the French girl pose with my eyes closed at 1.22 a.m. So, I mean, I'm having a different experience right now than what is normal. So... And then you're over here eating, like, Captain Crunch or something like that, or Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes mixed with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, that, that makes more sense. Captain Crunch is pretty good. Although it kind of, like, hurts, your, hurts people, like, my gums a little bit. As in, like, it kind of roughs up the top of my mouth. At, then after a while, it's like biting shards of glass. <laughs> yeah, every time, bro. Like pizza, pizza rolls are terrible for burning people like my mouth and other people's mouths. It's just bad. If you put it Hi, in, kids, do you like my eyelids? Do you want to see me stick nine inch nails through what th through each one of my eyelids? Yeah, fuck, bro. I, fuck, I messed it up. Damn it. That reminds me of I. I've told you about the Rat Man, haven't I? I don't know. Then I went on the FFA field trip, and then there was this guy that had cows and sheep, and we thought he was a drug dealer and a pedophile at the same time. And then he threw a rat at the wall. That's like the he, extremely he short ended version. Yeah. You know, he sounds like he what? was probably crazy once. Uh, they locked him in the room, and he's getting his revenge. <laughs> no, but I mean, the first thing he said when he, uh... Now he's throwing letting off laced rats on a wall. The, f the first thing he said when he got on the bus to, like, greet us was, Hey, ya kiddos! How are you all doing today? It's like, not the kiddos. Like, that's... 
pedophile energy. If you say kiddos, you like kids. Just telling you that right now. Okay, that's a warning. No more kiddos. We need to ban it. Just like all the racial slurs, and the other one, and the other one. We should also ban all babies from being in a movie theater. Or a plane. Just have them ride outside of the plane on the wing. Just strap them on, they'll be fine. <laughs> just, imagine, just fucking put babies in a high G4 situation. I imagine somebody like <laughs> on a like tied to a plane on a bungee jump cord just chilling. Attached to the plane while it's in midair. And it's a fighter jet too. I feel like he'd probably fly into the jet and like get crushed. You know, I'm pretty sure the things I'm telling you right are, are right now are in my dreams that I'm seeing right now, and I'm very concerned. What? I'm I'm everything I'm saying I'm seeing in my mind. And some of the stuff isn't real. So I don't know where it's coming from. And that's that's weird. What? What? You heard me. I, I've, I've been heard. Uh-huh. Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit tired. But that's just the way that it goes. You sound very tired. You like slurring your words, bro. What are eyes? The things you see with. What is seeing? Believing. <laughs> so what happens if I don't believe in sex? You can't see it. No, but that means I need to see it. <laughs> I need to see sex right now. <laughs> yeah. Teach me. Teach me the ways. How do you perform the sex? I must know. I feel like I feel like this episode is gonna be half me monologuing at this point. And about and the other half me asking if you're okay. I feel like I'm dying. Where did I fall? I don't know. <laughs> This may be your I feel like I'm dying moment. Well, at least I'm conscious. Probably. Probably? You sound you, half conscious, homie. You, you, you I have no idea you about. You feel like you're dreaming your own thoughts. <laughs> now, now that you say it like that, that's such... That's like, that's like I smell colors type of thing right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, bro, what did you smoke, bro? <laughs> uh, it's called life. You smoked a life. The tree of life. Nah, uh, I oh, I love me some good tree every day. Oxygen. Also the fact that I've also the fact that I've been getting like um what, four hours of sleep? <laughs> Three to four hours of sleep for the past several weeks, that probably do it. You're frying your brain, bro. Good. You're starting, you're starting to sound like <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, that's it's the point of no return. <laughs> Don't worry, Dude, I, I make it. I, gotta, I, make I gotta it, tell you something, bro. I make it back up on the weekends. Don't worry. Yo, bro. What? Are we still recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. We should probably end it. <laughs> no, we're gonna go for about. T I'm leaving that all in. This is. We're gonna go for about ten to fifteen more minutes. I knew it. We've just been we've just been on an adventure, Jesus. Yep. I can see right through you, Sayori. Yeah, I can see right through my eyelids. Next step! <laughs>
bear. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. We have a master detective. Somebody should get him and Danganronpa. I give uh, up. Oh, wait, we do. It's just Makoto Don't Maeki. Don't make me feel guilty. Honestly, I feel like my headcanon is that Makoto is the MC of DDLC. Because that would just be funny. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ha ha ha. Yuri suddenly giggles. Ha ha. Huh? I didn't notice she was listening in. Her face is full. Her face is in her book as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I, it, it was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Mama to let me borrow some money. The that's. Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough for retribution. Ah! Oh, did I just... Oh, I, I... I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I got too absorbed in the, into my book. Oh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun sighting. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. Yeah, I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still, yeah. coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? More shadowing. <laughs> oh, you're right, I guess so. I'll let her fool you. So that already knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me into the into the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Nasuki into making them. Come on, give me a little more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Wap. Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks Dory in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was that? Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. See where he glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! Retribution. Prostitution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you, you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> I got a wife, kids, and a gorgeous home. What would make me jump on a toe with the coldest foam? I'm straight vicious. I hit you with plates and dishes. Leave me with eight stitches. What up, gay, because I hate bitches? Slut, don't be nice to me. I've had it with girls, and I still be mad at the world, even if it have apologized to me. What? <laughs> what? Are you just going off randomly? No. <laughs> it's an Eminem freestyle. I mean, I get that. But... I forgot people thought it was hearing the last scary. thoughts of a man about to blow his fucking brains out... On top of his spouse in a bloodstained blouse spread out on a bloodstained couch in front of his kids that he just killed in the same house. Oh boy. 
really Kurt Cobaining everybody right now. <laughs> Bro. Anyway. Natsuki! It's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori, hu Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. And stop making those pterodactyl noises. Sayori rapidly, <laughs> Sayori rapidly tears up with the wrapper. It takes a big bite. So good. Yeah, yeah. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my dad. <laughs> you got through a lot over there just for a cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Why? Wow, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. <laughs> yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sarah gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Aw, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. You're a lesbian. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches out the nuts, Sayori off of her. Um. Sayori, Sayori suddenly leans out and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, that could be in the window. Did you seriously just do that? Mouthful of story trots away to safety. Yura and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Huh? I was kicking this around. Monica is in the club room. Ugh. Why is Monica anyway? Good question. Have you have any of you heard about what about her her about her being licked today? Yeah, Fortnite. Are you good? What happened? Huh? Are you okay? Uh. Did yeah. you fall asleep? Did you fall asleep? Yeah. The first thing you said was "Duh, Fortnite." <laughs> I said that. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought you, that was. I thought you were making a joke or something. Like you just came back from doing something. You were like, "Duh, Fortnite." What in the world were you somehow <laughs> dreaming about in twenty seconds? <laughs> Bro, my brain went straight into REM sleep. Oh, I was like, it was like one of those half asleep dreams. I think I was just, I think just having one while awake earlier. So I guess this is just the dream episode. Hopefully, no, none of us start becoming pedophiles. Oh God, the EDP episode. Yeah, <laughs> when's that one yeah. coming up? Yeah, the, the the whimpering audio episode. Let's go. The ML episode. Yeah, but that's that's all stuff Dream did, by the way. Just if you didn't know. Mini lad episode. Oh, not mini. No, we're done with mini lad. That was we already brought him up here somehow, some way. I don't even remember. We actually brought mini lad up. Yeah, in like episode two. Damn, we're just bullying the shit out of me, then. Well, he deserves it. What, are you gonna side with the pedophile on this one, or? Huh? What? What? I Stay forgot what we were talking you. about. <laughs> okay. Okay, buddy. I think, I think we need to end it before you have another I feel like I'm dying moment. Fortnite. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, guys, <laughs> the Llama Inspector is out. Have a nice day.
This, we did not make much progress. This was terrible. Goodbye. <laughs>